हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज नेशनल ग्रीन ट्रिब्यूनल दैट इज एन जी टी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इट्स कॉम्पोजिशन क्वालिफिकेशन ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड फंक्शन पावर्स एंड जूरिस्टिक्शन इशूज विद एन जी टी एंड लास्टली वे फॉरवर्ड्स First of all moving on to the introduction of NGT that is National Green Tribunal the NGT is a specialized body that was formed under the NGT Act 2010 it was established for effective and expeditious disposal of cases that are related to the protection and conservation of the environment forest and other natural resources india has become the third country in the world after australia and new zealand for setting up a specialized environmental tribunal and also the first developing country to do so the national green tribunal has a total of 5 places of sittings namely bhopal pune new delhi kolkata and chennai amongst which new delhi is the principal place of sitting now moving on to the composition of ngt the tribunal comprises of the chairperson the judicial members and expert members they hold office for term of 3 years or till the age of 65 years whichever is earlier and are not eligible for reappointment the chairperson is appointed by the central government in consultation with chief justice of india a selection committee is formed by central government to appoint the judicial members and expert members there are to be at least 10 and maximum 20 full time judicial members and expert members in the tribunal Now let's have a look at their qualification. The chairperson should have been a Supreme Court judge or Chief Justice of the High Court. Judicial members of the tribunal should have been a judge of the High Court. Expert members are appointed to the NGT to provide specialized knowledge and expertise in specific fields related to the environment. These members bring scientific, technical or environmental expertise to assist in the decision making process. Now let's discuss about objectives and functions of National Green Tribunal. Being a specialized body, specific objectives has been provided to the NGT which are as follows: effective and expeditious disposal of cases that are related to protection and conservation of the environment, forest and other natural resources, to give relief and compensations for any damages caused to persons and properties, and to handle various environmental disputes. that involve multidisciplinary issues now moving on to powers and jurisdiction the tribunal has jurisdiction over all civil cases involving substantial question relating to environment including enforcement of any legal right relating to environment it is endowed with suo motu on its own motion powers to take up environmental issues across the country The tribunal is not bound by the procedure laid down under the Code of Civil Procedure 1908 but shall be guided by principles of natural justice. While passing any order decision or award it shall apply the principles of sustainable development the precautionary principle and the polluter pays principle. An order decision award of tribunal is executable as a decree of a civil court. any violation pertaining to these laws or any decision taken by the government under these laws can be challenged before the ngt now let's understand about the issues with ngt first is limit to jurisdiction two important acts wildlife protection act 1972 and scheduled tribes and other traditional forest dwellers recognition of forest rights act 2006 have been kept out of ngt's jurisdiction This restricts the jurisdiction area of NGT and at times hampers its functioning as the crucial forest rights issue is linked directly to the environment. Obstacle to development. Decisions of NGT have also been criticized and challenged due to their repercussions on economic growth and development. Vacancies. NGT only has 3 judicial and 3 expert members against the sanctioned strength of 10 each. The lack of human and financial resources has led to high pendency of cases which undermines NGT's very objective of disposal of appeals within 6 months. Limited regional branches. NGT being located in only big cities spread across India 
However, environmental exploitation is also taking place in the tribal areas of dense forest. Therefore, the justice delivery mechanism is also hindered by a limited number of regional benches and additional layer of judicial process. NGT was conceptualized to ease out the burden on the higher courts. However, the Supreme Court in L. Chandrakumar case opined that tribunals could not be effective substitutes of high courts under Articles 226 and 227. This eventually leads to cases reaching the judiciary by way of appeal. Now moving on to way forward. First is expansion of regional benches. NGT benches have to expand many folds. These new regional benches should have been based in a place that has the highest forest cover or large mineral deposit. Second is system of larger bench in NGT. Appeal may be provided against the order of the NGT before a larger bench of the tribunal before the matter reaches to the Supreme Court or High Court. Addressing administrative inadequacy. Vacancies in NGT needs to be addressed for its effective functioning. And collaborative approach. There is a need for the central and state governments to work in collaboration with the NGT for balancing between environment and economy. Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, prelims-based question. The National Green Tribunal has jurisdiction over which of the following acts? 1. The Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1981. 2. The Environment Protection Act 1986. 3. The Public Liability Insurance Act 1991. 4. The Biological Diversity Act 2002. Select the correct answers from the following codes. 1 and 2 only, 1, 2 and 4 only, 2 and 4 only or 1, 2, 3 and 4. And now mains question. What is the mandate of the National Green Tribunal that is NGT? What is its organizational composition? Discuss. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.